Today I'm going to be doing the first time tag. If you don't know what the first time tag is, it's when you answer a bunch of random questions. It's not when you lost your virginity. So the first question is, first tweet. I actually wrote this down. My first tweet was, I miss you, the real you, not the person you have become. Wow, sophomore year faith was a little dramatic. Okay, the second one is first YouTube video. My first YouTube video that I did was the 25 facts about me, and it will be right down below if you just keep on scrolling. The first person you subscribe to on YouTube. Now I've had several YouTube accounts, but I think they're talking about this one. So the first person I subscribed to was Dan Howell, AKA Dan is not on fire. What was your first alcoholic drink? Um, I was about 14. Sorry mom if you're watching this. Um, it was actually just a shot of vodka with orange juice and my friends thought I was crazy that I hadn't had liquor. And I was like, but we're 14. We're so innocent. Yeah. Um, what was your first job? My first job, I was a deli clerk at a local grocery store. I actually really loved it. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of good coworkers and stuff. Um, but you know, you move on. Um, what was your first car? I still actually still have my first car. I didn't get a first car until like later in life, I guess you could say. I didn't, uh, I didn't get a car until later. Um, and it's a Sunfire and I absolutely love her to death. She's like the best car. Who was the first person to text you today? Let's see. Today, today, today. Well, if we're counting in the, you know what? No. That would have been my friend Anthony. He was the first to text me today. Who is the first person you thought of this morning? Well, that's confidential. Um, who was your first grade teacher? My first grade teacher was Miss Chaponi. Nobody could pronounce her name though. It was so funny. She was a great teacher. She used to make you laugh and she would read stories to us. It was a lot of fun. Where did you go on your first ever plane ride? I went to Orlando, Florida and I went to Disney World when I was 10. I was absolutely terrified of planes. I was so freaking nervous. I was like, oh my God. My mom told me my ears were gonna pop and I didn't understand what that meant. I was imagining them falling off and hitting the ground and not being able to hear anything and all it was was just like when you're chewing bubble gum. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? No, we do not talk anymore. Her name was Jessica. Well, is Jessica, she's not dead. <laughs> and we used to have a lot of fun together. We were like three and we grew up going to school together and then she eventually moved away. I still have her on Facebook though, but it's more or less like happy birthdays, back and forth, but we don't speak. We don't really know anything about each other anymore. Where was your first sleepover? I've been having sleepovers since I was really little, so I honestly, do not exactly remember, but I'm going to assume it was at Jessica's house because that's where we used to hang out a lot. What was the first thing you did this morning? Well, the first thing I did this morning was take a bath. And then after that, I went to the store. What was the first concert you ever went to? My first concert I ever went to was an Aerosmith concert. My mom got tickets to go. And I was absolutely excited because I never went to a concert. I wasn't like a really big Aerosmith fan. I just was really excited to see him. But I think my favorite concert I've ever been to, I'll just throw this in there, would probably, well I haven't been to many concerts so give me a break there. But I think would probably have to be my best friend Tim and me when we were like sophomores in high school. We went and saw Never Shout Never and it was like this big deal to us because it was like his birthday and we loved their music at the time and we we just cried the whole entire time. It was it was a wonderful time. Or or my other one would have to be One Direction. I went and saw them this past um, summer. I completely forgot about that. Um, that was insane to me. It was like a last minute thing. My friend was like, I have an extra ticket, you should come with. And I was like, yes, I'm coming. And I was the best thing ever. Um, first broken bone. I've never broken a bone. But I have fallen down a flight of stairs one time and hurt my leg. I also dropped a 25 pound weight on my foot. Um, and I hurt my ankle on a, what was it? Um, I hurt my ankle on like in a bouncy house or something when I was a kid. But they've never actually broken a bone. 
but like every time that I would go to do a play that I was in, I would always hurt something before the show. And I'd be like trying to dance and all that before the show and it was just always so horrible. Um, first piercing, that would be my ears. I don't have anything in them right now, but they are pierced. Um, for, first foreign country you've gone to. I've actually never left the United States, but I will be going to Europe. I've made that decision. That will be the first place I go. Um, first movie you remember seeing. Um, I don't know if that means in theaters. So we're just going to go with in theaters. Um, I think the first movie I ever saw in theaters was Toy Story 1. Um, I just remember going to the theater. That's all I really remember. I don't even remember like seeing the movie in the theater, but I remember going there. Like I know the movie obviously, but I don't remember going. Um, when was your first detention? I didn't get in trouble in school, so I never had a detention. And my school only had like ISS, which was like in school suspension, so I never got one of those either. Who was your first roommate? I technically still live with my parents. So I never really had a roommate yet. Um, my friend Kim hopes to be my new roommate very soon. But um, I guess you could say my brother. Um, we shared a room when we were little for a little while. So totes to you, Brad. You're my first roommate. If you had one wish, what would it be? Wow, that's hard. Um, I think my one wish would be for this YouTube channel to go places. I think that would be my one wish. Um, I really enjoy doing this, so I kind of hope that that one wish does come true. Um, what was the first sport you were ever involved in? Um, I've actually only done one sport my whole entire life, and that was cheerleading. Um, I played sports here and there, but I never was on a team, but I was in cheerleading for like four years, and I regret that little 10 year old Faith was like, I want to do Girl Scouts instead, and didn't keep doing cheerleading because I loved it so much, and as a, like an adult now, I'm like, I wish I could do a backflip, but I couldn't because I stopped, so that's something I really wish I would have kept at. Alrighty then, this is the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to know where you can find more information from me, go to www.faiththeunwrittenstory.blogspot.com. Description will be down below. Or you can check out my Twitter at underscore, underscore, underscore. It's Faith. That will also be down below. And if you enjoy this video, please feel free to click that little subscribe button. It'll be down below as well. And I will see you next time. Bye!